my name is Brenda and today we are going to be starting August's budget. So first we're going to label the top of this. So first we have income. line across I really wanted to use yellow to like write but I don't think you'd be able to see it so we're just gonna stick with the lines in yellow and use pink so we have combined we have expected Actual, and then we have our variant. Next, we have fixed expenses. We have our mortgage, our RAV4, motorcycle loan, my braces that I no longer have, but I still have to pay for them, our phone bill, the internet, sewer, and garbage, our life insurance, Netflix, out our variable expenses and for us we have our sinking funds groceries and restaurant and then for the next category We'll list out our extras. Which is an extra debt payment. Um, you may have noticed that we no longer have our truck loan here. We were able to pay that off in July. And after the end of July, I'll be able to do another debt review to kind of show you how that all shaked out. So now our next debt we'll be working on is the motorcycle. So that is where our extra payments will go. For our income, we expect to bring in 4,820. And so when I set up my August budget, I determine our income based on the lowest possible amount. So for my husband, that's salary. Um, for me, I uh, am hourly. 
um, and the way the pay schedule works, it's not a specific two week period where I only have 80 hours possible because our pay period is from the 1st to the 15th. Sometimes a pay period can have 10, 11, or 12 days. Usually 10 is the minimum, so I basic off of that. So our mortgage is 1,150. Um, our wrap for payment is 420. Our motorcycle um, base payment is 200. My braces is 189. Our phone bill, it went up last month just based on like taxes and some fees. Um, it just went up a dollar, so now it's 133. Internet is 75. Sewer and garbage is 68. Our life insurance is 38. And then Netflix is 10. So our sinking funds for August, we've decided we're going to put $1,442 towards. Our groceries, we're going to drop it down. Last month we did $550 and we're going to drop it down to $520. Last month we did stock up on toilet paper, laundry detergent, dishwasher deter detergent at Costco, and that's kind of why we bumped it up to 550. Also, we had my sister in town. Um, now that we don't have anything big planned in August, we're gonna slowly try to tighten our grocery budget. And then restaurant, we are keeping at 75. So we will, um, we will add all of our fixed expenses. Seventy-five, sixty-eight. Oh, I missed our life insurance. There we go. Two thousand two hundred and eighty-three, and then our variables. It's two thousand thirty-seven. So I've not explained this too much, but we do follow a zero base budget, which just means that every dollar in our income gets allocated somewhere. So to figure out our what we're gonna put towards our extra debt, towards the motorcycle, we will take our income at 4,820, subtract out our total fixed expenses, and then subtract our, our variable expenses total. And we plan to put 500 extra towards our motorcycle payment. So we'll make the minimum payment of 200 and we'll put the 500. If you remember from last month, our extra debt payment was 250 and then our truck payment that's no longer listed was 230 so that gave us 480 extra and then we rearranged our sinking funds a little bit and then we did uh, decrease our grocery budget to try to add more to our add more to our debt payment and so that is how my August budget looks let me know how you plan to spend your money in August, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!